Hey folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for being with me today. I've got a, a quick uh, a tip on using the alignment function that you'll find here in X Lights. Now, you'll notice that whenever you go to that function, they're all grayed out. Well, that's because you have to use the shift key in order to select the, the uh, uh, specific um, sequenced uh, effect that you want to align everything else with or to. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we don't have any of our uh, uh, any of our timings uh, selected and there's no timing marks in this area. See how I have this nice little yellow box that goes around everything. Now that's selected everything on the screen that I wanted to select for this effect. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the item. I'm going to uh, hold the shift key down and I'm going to select the item I want everything aligned against. So I like this one. Let's align it with this. Let's right click alignment and now you can see that these are active. They're darkened and we can uh, align by the start times. See now look what happened as I was creating this effect. Now if you watched the last video I, I only started with these first three morphs um, and then I copy and paste it and I added an extra ribbon here and then I wanted to go down the tree and then back up the tree and to do that you have to chase it but I noticed that all of my um, all of my morphs were different sizes so that's where the alignment function comes in and helps us so what I want to do is I'm going to select the the version of length that I like the best which I think it's this one here in the middle um, and so I'm gonna highlight again and I'm gonna select the middle one with this with the shift key hold, held down right click and select alignment and I'm going to match the duration so now they're all the exact same length of time now I have the opportunity to go in select all and hold the alternate button down reach for the bottom right hand corner of the items and begin a chase now if I let go of the alternate button and I push the shift key and I move my mouse over the bottom right effect I can slide it back and forth and now we can look and see how I wanted it to turn out which was from the top to the bottom all nice and even so uh, I hope this is helpful for you guys this was a, a something I've been working on you know for a couple minutes here and I thought well you know what how about a, a quick short video showing how to use the alignment function and how to actually get it to work I know some of you have probably gone uh, clicked, uh, done a right click and saw alignment and said, what in the heck is that and how does it work? So there you go. Hey guys, uh, all the best. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Take care and talk to you soon. Bye.